Hello everyone, in this video we will try to learn how to use graph editor and then how you can do changes using graph editor. So let's just begin. So I have opened up a recent project. So let me just play it and show you. There are various stuff. You can see right, there are different different channels and then this channel right, it is having fade in and fade out effect and then there are some other clip which has different different section in different directions are coming and then there is animation stuff. So we'll try to see how we can do changes to this particular animation with graph editor. So how it is useful and then we'll learn more concepts about graph editor. Before to that right, I'll just show you how to open graph editor. So what you have to do, you just go here and then the symbol changes right to plus. So what you have to do, you left click of your mouse button and then just drag it slowly once you drag it right there is one more same preview window will come up so let's just reduce this size here and then you have to go here and then just there is a graph editor so there is a shortcut for it so shift f6 so let me just click on here and then this opens up a graph editor so just uh, i don't need this one so i'm just reducing this part and this is the graph editor there are a couple of things i think the majority of the shortcuts right and then the keys which we are using in past those all work here but i'll just explain you those things as well so by default right if i select one of the clip right and then if there is any key frame if there is any fade in or fade out effects anything related to animation stuff right the graphs comes up and then if it is just normal plane right it doesn't have any keyframe so it doesn't come so this is the background image so if i select it there is no keyframe or nothing added so it doesn't give any information here so now if i select this one right and then if you see it it has some graph here to zoom in right what i can do i can scroll in my mouse button front so it zooms in and then if i scroll back right and then it zoom out so this is one thing the other thing is right there is option which you can view here there are lots of other options we'll discuss later but if you want to select any of the clip right so what you can do you can just type a so if you type a right what will happen all the keyframes right all the points which are handle points or the keyframe points all get selected this is what entire clip it has fade in fade out effect so here is the fade in curve here is the fade out curve so it all got selected and to deselect it what you have to type just first select outside somewhere right it goes off so to select again you to type a to deselect you might click your mouse button anywhere outside so this is one thing the other thing is right suppose if you want to drag or if you want to zoom in right what you can do if you type control hold mouse button and then just and zoom in so what happens right this you move front or back side so what happens it just zooms in here so by by doing this right you will get to know like how this is getting zoom in so so now if you see right it got zoomed in here so if you want to again zoom out right what i'll type control i'll click my mouse middle button and then just drag it slowly down so it zooms out here to zoom in you just drag it straight and then to zoom out right you just drag drag it on the back side and this is one more thing the one more thing shortcut right which i want to show you is right suppose you want to zoom wider on x axis right so what you can do you can just right click and then hold your mouse middle button and then just move right side so if i'm moving right side right it goes on in increasing in that particular zoom in if i go on left side right it just zooms out on the x-axis so if you see right it zooms on so this is one thing and if you do on a y-axis right if i go front right it goes inside of on y-axis and then if i go backward right it goes outside on y-axis so now let's just make it i'll just uh, type again control and then hold my mouse middle button and then just zoom out a bit so that we will work on it and then just move on y-axis as well so now this looks good to select all right i'll just type a and then if you see right this is the curve which we'll try to work on so these are keyframes i'm just selecting these are the keyframes and this is also keyframe and these are handles these are handles which i'm highlighting here let me just show you i've clicked on this has subscribe so this is the one which we are talking about and then this has fade in so if i go here right so it's gradually comes up like this is what it is so if you want to change it right so you can just select handle and then just make it maybe linear or something you can just change it based on your requirement so if you want to make any of the faster right so what you can do you can just select the keyframe and then just bring up here like this so i'm just moving it so that it is best faster so if i now do it right so if you say it comes up very faster so this is one thing wherever the keyframes are there you can just manually do in a graph basis you don't have to go here and do the stuff so let me just do it here also and then you just see on this particular section right it gets the graph is curve here like this but if i change that right it just changes based on that so now if you see right so if you see it gradually goes down so let me just go here and just play and show you so if you see right it goes very fast if you don't want right you can just make it slowly so what i'll do i'll just type ctrl z to bring it back i'm typing multiple times ctrl z yeah, i think this looks good if you want to make this very slowly right what you can do you can just click on this particular keyframe and then just bring back so that it slowly gradually goes down so this is what it shows here also in the graph so if i slowly play the video right 
If you see it, it is very slow. So this is how you can just change the graph and make it fast, make it slow. You don't need to manually go and do that stuff. So you can do here. And then there is other stuff. So if you want to just make it as linear, if you select any of the keyframes, like I'm just right clicking of my mouse button, right? And then you select these keyframes. And then if I type T, right? So there are lots of options, comes up interpolations, all those things. So if I select linear, right? What happens? It just select in a linear fashion. So let me just play here and just show you. So it just goes very fast kind of stuff like this it's nothing but in a linear fashion and then if i select let me just show one more time so there are different different options you can just select those particular keyframes you want to apply you don't want to apply here right you just select these things and then type t and then there are lots of other options so you can select whichever you want so there is a bouncing option back all those things you can just play around so if i do here right and what happens if i play here so if you see it, the bouncing effects comes in here, please. So let me just show you. So one more time. So if you see it, it, it comes in the bouncing fashion. So let me just undo it and then just select again these keyframes and then type T. There are lots of other options like elastic. So if I select elastic as well, right? Let me play again and show you. This is similar to bones effect, but it is, there are different different options which are available. You can just explore on that part. You have to type just T and then you will see there are lots of other stuff. Now comes handles, right? And these are handles which I was talking about, right? Uh, if I select like this, right? And then you can change how it want to look and then how faster you want to make it, how slow you want to make it based on that handles. You can just collect and play around with this stuff. Suppose view all the keyframes, right? You can just select what all the clips and then these all the keyframes associated with this clip, right? It will comes up here in this fashion. So you want to view, right? And this is in this section. So, but you want to see only a couple of stuff, uh, maybe because it, you go, it got messed up, right? And you don't know which clip or which curves is related to which clip. And in this scenario, right? What there are different different options which you can do. You can you have to just right click here, and then there are option like hide the selected curve or hide the unselected curve. So what happens, right? If I select any of the clip, right? And then it just shows me particular only that particular clip. But in the background, right? In a light mode, there is still your visual. I can see if, if you don't want to see right what you can do just right click and then hide the unselected clip so if I do it right so you only able to see only the clip which you have selected so now if I do with this right it goes off and then it just shows you only that clip which is selected so now if you want to collapse all right you can just right click and then do collapse all so it goes off everything then if you want to reveal all the curves right you can have to just type alt h or this button so if you see right all the curves came back and then if you want to hide the selected curves right not selected any of them if I select this one right it will curve hide whichever the curve which I have selected. So there are lots of other options which are available here. So you can just explore the stuff here. So I'll just, I will do is right. I'll just reveal the curves and then if you want to just work on only particular curve, right? You can just select this or this. Let me just select this. And then if you see right, there are multiple stuff because this is a quick ID one. So it has multiple animations. So if you see right, I'm just scrolling that and then it goes in this fashion so that's what this curve is about let me just zoom out i'm just holding control and then my mouse hold middle button and this zoom out bringing down slowly and then if you see it this is the curve which i was talking about and then if you just drag it right these are the things which so one thing is right if you want to copy this entire stuff right what you can do you can easily just select this and then control c and then if i go keep my playhead here and then type control V right so what happens it copies entire stuff here so you don't need to do again anything like that so there's multiple stuff so if I see right the same animation I can copy again here currently it is going out of the scope right so let me just extend this so what I'll do I'll just select individually I'm holding my shift and then typing so that I'll just extend it a bit now what happens right if I select this only just do the stuff right so if you see it, the curves, whatever the animation which I've added, right, I've just copied the stuff uh, with that particular stuff. If I type A, right, it selects the entire clip. So this is easy. So if you want to animate, if you can do only one animation, then you can replicate the stuff. There are lots of other options you can explore. If you want to delete this particular stuff, right, or delete this particular stuff, you can just select this and type X. So what happens? It gives this delete option to you or keyframes or clean channel. So what I'll do, I'll just delete the keyframe. So it goes off that particular stuff. So this is one thing. And then if you want to delete entire stuff, right, what you can do you can just select this and then just type x and then delete so you can delete entire channel as well you can create mirror all those things there are different different options you can do it there's handle free aligned vector all those things you can do it you can just explore the stuff maybe i'll create a different video here all those different different majority of the stuffs available here the last thing right which i wanted to show you is how to close this particular graph editor for that right you have to just left click of your mouse button just to, if you want to close this right move slowly on the right side and this aroma comes up and then you can just leave it so it goes off 
So this is what I want to cover in this video. It's just a simple uh, overview about how you, you can use graph editor and then to do various stuff with animation or keyframes and then you can just play around with that. Maybe there are lots of other stuff which we will try to cover in the other video. That's what I want to cover in this video. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.